There we go. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. Just had a couple of technical difficulties with this game crashing, but that's what you get when you get into early access. Okay. So we're back, and we're fully back. What is our current objective? I think we have to talk to the healer down here, yeah? Okay. So, escape the nautiloid, yes. Moving the parasite is still what we're looking for, but get help from uh, the healer. Rescue Druid Halson. Find the Githyanki Crush. Defeat the goblins. Okay, and this is all companion stuff. I can take some from here. All right, let's let's get everything we can. That's you know not gonna make them angry. Oh, okay, that's why. There's nothing in there. Oh god. It's a little right. I've got food. Water. It's a little choppy. That's fine though. It's just a random torch on the ground. And again. Swing, swing. Can we talk to all these people? Let's talk to Gex. Interesting technique. What's having some trouble? You'd better surrender that dark. It's far better than you. <laughs> Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with the sword. Uh, athletics drummers demonstrate a swing. Show them the fluidity of the movement. Inside, no wonder you're struggling. You have no balance. Space your feet up farther apart. Try hitting the target. All right, what's the target? 11. All right. I'll, I'll try and brace them better. Um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes. Good job. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Uh, one last thing. Don't show your moves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Keep training. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Not a problem. Oh, that's right. I gotta press the button to leave. Oh, he gave me an axe. Sweet. Can't possibly see a use for it since I, I'm more of a sword guy. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. Thank you. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Uh, they're just children. Uh, why are you teaching them the fight? Soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death. Embrace it. <laughs> oh my god. Love it. Uh, be strong. Watch over your kin. And trust there is victory. Bad news, children. You're all gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Um. Uh. Shit. I like two and three. I like two and three. I had to go with three. Thanks. Just for a... I prefer when they smile. Though I would very much like to see a bunch of bloodthirsty tiefling children just rampage against some goblins. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So these are all... 
Are they actually gonna fight goblins if the time comes? This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Now, how are you gonna do that? If you train against real goblins, there's an attack coming. Wait, this thing gave me Bane? Oh my god. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Alright, through we go. Hello, Donny. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Oh, thank you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. You're a little stealthy boy, huh? Okay, I guess that's it. No, 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 back. I don't... Why is this kid naked? Whoa. Hey. Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. A tiefling? Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Okay. Call it. Heads or tails. Didn't I already take the ring? Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? I, I didn't. <laughs> He's a grifter! Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. This sounds like a scam. All right, take your ring. What do you have to trade? Return the ring and leave. I wish there was an insight check to see if he's lying, but there's not. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Come on, this drink, this, uh, Tinker's Trash <laughs> Oh my god. Just go in on the kid. Uh, anyone can see that, uh, this was modified War Widow scam. The hell is his? You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because... <laughs> oh, damn. No, please, go on. Go! Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? Sure, why not? I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. What? Why did I fail the perception check? Is he just not going to show me the inventory? Oh, okay. Um, I can sell him some stuff. Some bones. A fucking plate. Quill, what is that? Mugwort bundle, the unclaimed. I got some arm. When I don't remember picking up that armor. Um, there's really not that much that I have to sell. Cause, let's see, I don't think his ca his cash inventory is not that big. Um, do I have a bow on me? Yes, I do. I forget if my other companions have a bow, so let's barter and check out everybody else she has a bow she does not so we'll keep one for her and Asterion does so we can uh, get rid of them. oh wait we've got like two companions back at the camp so we might need to keep those so we can only sell one you 
You bought something. Most everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. I sold something. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. Cute kid. You spot the boy giving a sly wink as he turns away. Fuck's that mean, child? I'll rip your fucking nuts off, boy. All right, why are you naked, oh, child? Um, I, I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. Where, where are your clothes? What? Um, I'm the guard, so don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Cute, but where are your clothes? Why are you naked? <laughs> Is this legal? <laughs> All right, definitely gotta send a message to the devs that this uh, what's it, what's this kid's names? Okay, uh, Sylphie. Sylphie's naked for some reason. Spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mradrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Okay. Yeah, you don't want to mess with shape shifting druids. Hey, uh, you want to talk though? We need to get Arabella out now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I already did. It's not that bad. Um, let's see. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? You need to be careful. That bear would have torn you to shreds. I don't give a rag about me. It's my daughter I'm worried about. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. She's a child, the druids are overreacting, I'll talk to them. You've got your work cut out for you, like you said, it's your fault. You should have, uh, you should have tried parenting. That's pretty fucked. Uh, thieves deserve punishment. Simple, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. No promises. Hurry, I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. I could try grease and palms. These things over. Like, no promises, but, you know, so still. Well last time. Stop! Move back at once! If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins, so I'll go where I please. Why, what's so special down here? Ignore them and proceed. Keep back! Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. That's right, so fuck off. Thank you. Nope, go through the fu Oh, it just had to work its way around. Volo. You're what? A procurer of what? Associates and curios? No, stories and. Oh, stories and curios. Ah, my good friend. Hello. You were at the gates just now, no? Aye. When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your questions, and there's no overstating my disinterest. I have no time for questions. I've got time, what? Glory. 
Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. A uh, common variety of goblins, led by a lasher flanked by... Boogias? Or... Uh, Boogia... What, how the hell you say that? Give exact descriptions, they were goblins, same as... Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Red. <laughs> Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name for, like a war cry. I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Sure, why not? Fuck it. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The Scandal. Scandal, petty drama, maybe. Goblin, su goblin superstitions are not worthy of the ink and parchment. Hold your tongue. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for what? Intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful, goblins aren't known for mercy. Wait, you're about to, uh, about our conversation earlier. Why the dragon? Uh, what brought you to the wilds in the first place? Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you have a quick tongue and an invisibility potion stashed in one's back pocket? Until we meet again. If they see you, they will kill you. <laughs> Goblins are like known to be the default D and D enemy. It's over here. And invisibility potions don't last long enough to actually talk to somebody. Hello. No, What's this? Disney princess? Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. What are you saying? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Are you alright? Uh, this grove could become a battlefield soon enough. It's not the time for music. Uh, you better swap that loot for a weapon. <laughs> You'll need it soon enough. No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't... <sighs> Nothing fits, you know? Uh, let me see if I can help. That's a creative process for you. Agony and ecstasy. Uh, mostly agony. That is correct. Uh, why songwriting now? Hardly the best time. You'd better swap. Okay. Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first, what's the song about? Hand me the loot and we'll perform together. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. 
Okay, so, uh... Words of mine will turn to ash When you call the last light down Yes! Yes! There you go! Lip syncing's a little bit off. <laughs> that was beautiful. And Sorry. two people approve. Don't worry, uh, cry as much as you need. It's a beautiful song, worthy of your few tears. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lehala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Sounds terrible, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure your teacher would be proud of you now. Hardly a unique tale of woe these days. Toughen up or you won't last. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. Mm -hmm. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. And she's got squirrels just my hanging around. Alright, everybody. Time to go back down. I really need to heal. Can I? I cannot take a short rest right now.
I have no clue if this is going to be a little bit combative or not, so let's stop right here and... Um, quick save, come on. There we go. Quick save, it's successful. Good. In here. It is in here, yeah, yeah, I think so. Stone door. <laughs> oh god. Okay, and down we go. Down the stairs, Azeroth. There we go. Finally loaded. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. She stole the idol of Sylvanas. She must pay the price. Save Arabella. We haven't saved her yet. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? She's a child. I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out the rest. She's a child. Uh, imprison her, she's just a child. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. Thief of poison. What was the girl's actual crime? She's a parasite. She eats our food. Drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Oh, shit. Persuasion or nature. Definitely, probably not nature. What do I need? 15, come on. Shit! No. The tiefling remains until the rite is complete. Now, Wrath. No. What have you done? Atheus! Tila to me! Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the rite. What the fuck? Spare your Hold on a second. Nah. I want to see. Let, let's load back. She still tried to run. All right, at least we're back here. So I have an idea. It involves thumatology. But I guess that's not really going to be an idea that pans out until I... There we go. Oh, I, I want to see if we can save this little girl. Okay, and... 
Let's quick save again. Have you lost your senses? Okay, well, there we go. Release her. Ori. This is madness, Korga. She's just a, a what? Wrath. A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out the rest. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. Again. And keep still, devil. She's a child. Tila is restless. And you're a tyrant. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Okay, here's hoping Thuma told you gave me a boost. There we go. Very well, she may go. Break your word and my serpent shall feed. Sifasif, Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsin would- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. And yet elves wonder why they don't like or aren't liked by people. Are you okay, sir? Are, sir, sir, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> you did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Uh, that Kaga seems dangerous. Uh, and if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Uh, I've heard there's some ritual going on. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Happy to, she seems happy to rule the roost. Who's the real leader? Looking for Nettie. Master Holson. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. Uh, if you're looking for, uh, if no one's looking for Olsen, I could do it. Sounds like I better leave. I'm looking for Nettie. Would you? I would give anything to see Olsen return home. Uh, no need to fret. I'll find him. I'd like more than a solid offer that anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you. Even if the circle forbids it. Sounds good. Hulsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. Okay. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Okay. Sounds good. Come, Silver. Oh god, he's <laughs> he's glitching out again. Come on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Truly, I think you're a fool, but... Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus and the rite has resumed. We will seal the grove. Free from harm. Free of intruders. Uh, this right must be powerful magic. Zivlor believes his people will perish on the road. Do you, uh... Do what you want, it's not my concern. What do you want from me, is the real question. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters. 
no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while Outlanders infect us. Sylvanas demands that we choke them out. Yeah, I don't think you really know what Sylvanas demands. Uh... And mine perish if he stays. Not really. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. <sighs> Pray all you want. The refugees aren't my concern. They're really not. But... You're also a villainous bitch. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Ugh. We have the right to defend our home. Right. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? Is this... I don't want to kill Net. anyone. We need to speak to her. I'm not sure about her. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? This house seems to be our target. Uh, healing. I hope you're good enough for what ails me. I need help now. I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. You and every other soul here. I can help if something's wrong. I'm no master Halson, but I can manage. Okay. Uh, take whatever I can get. Heal me. Do you know anything about mind flares? Uh,. What you might manage probably isn't enough. I'll look elsewhere. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. Yeah, there's really no way. Uh, right, yes, I'm very tired indeed. More than tired. Something crawled into my eye. And get some rest. There's no better magic. Take a nip of whiskey before bed if you need to. Come back to me if that doesn't do it. I don't have some mugwort in the stores. Right. No blue leaf sap. So, that's really all we needed down here. I think we're gonna go try to figure out. Look at him, still glitching out over there. Can I talk to these people? What's up, buddy? Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Alright, fuck you too. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh my god. So the real question is, what should our next objective be in trying to find him? Who's Minnow? Was there somebody standing right here? Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not in- Okay, thank you for your close to rhyming. All right, there's the girl and her parents. Let's talk to them. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Not a problem. I did my best. It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, We'll come running, no matter what. 
Hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. You're right, it's not much. Uh, this could have all ended bad badly. Keep her in line from now on. No more li light fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. But I mean, thank you for helping me. You're welcome. It's our job to get us out Cherished of this. Cherished locket. Not yours. Let's take a look at it. Can I. It's there we go. Too. The druids don't care about us. Where is it? Oh. No Alright, so the following. Ourselves. Okay. So it invokes dancing lights. Okay, cool. What do we have on right now? I think it's E for equipment. Okay, so we have on, and we can speak with the dead. So far, I've not seen much use for it, but, you know, here's hoping. Okay. So what is this? What is this? Nettie. So I think we should endeavor to find out Druid Housen, or to find at least what happened to him. Druids here think he got caught by goblins, so if he did, we might as well try to investigate it. Let's see what... Nope, can I talk? I can't talk to you. Wait, can't... Yes, I can. Rochelle? Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Yeah, they're cowards, but... Or at least one of them is. But unfortunately, she's the one in control. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to. We glitching out here again? Something the matter? No, not really, but, uh. You know, let, let's talk. Uh, what do you think of all that's happened so far? We should get to know each other a little more. Yeah, why not? So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Did I ask you these questions already? Inquisitive, looking for connection. It's every man for himself. Oh, and yes. You're looking to make friends. Admirable, I suppose. Or desperate. I'm not quite sure. That's all you're entitled to, for now. Our parasite problem doesn't make you my confidant. I'm the closest thing you got. What is this? Zevlor. Is it a backpack? Nothing in there. Is this actually a way down, or am I just going nowhere? I care about our lives. We've known enough grief this ten-day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. I don't intend to, but I don't take kindly to threats, sir. Fuck off. A human. Fighting foul blood. Glad to know one of you has a spine. Was that a thank you? I already regret saving your life. Oh, bruised your feelings, did I? Excuse me if I don't weep, but problems are my own. Which are? Damn sight better than what Zevlor's got coming after leaving us to die like that. Leaving? What the fuck are you talking about? He let you in, didn't he? <laughs> oh, she was in the group. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe. But not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight. But not Liam, no. He charged him. The stupid bastard. I'm guessing that didn't end well. So you just left your friend to the goblins? These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend, all right? Sure. Just another raw recruit thought he was in some storybook. Right. 
Okay. Wound sure. Clean. Small mercies. Wasn't there somebody standing right? Oh. Oh, this is the kid we talked to already, I think. Please. I... I've been through enough. Oh, yeah, we did. We talked to him. All right, let's turn around. More people glitching. This is one of the other people from the group. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Neither am I. All you did is stay, uh, stand up for your crew. I respect that. You could try to be a little friendlier. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Feck off yourself. I saved your skin at the gates. Charming. <laughs> I can see why the locals like you so much. Yeah, you really saved the day. Swooping in and playing the hero. Did now, better I'm than you. Take the blame for leading the goblins here, and losing track of the bloody druid. Where'd the goblins come from? Who's the druid you'd lost track of? They chased us all the way from the ruins we were poking around in. And is that where you lost track of your druid friend? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblin's gone when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Uh, can I have a look at the contract? You think getting rich would be easy? Let me see the contract. Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblins for a relic supposedly buried around these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Right, uh, just tell me where to find the relic. Any idea what the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Or the other way around. I could kill you now, sir. Damn humans. Come on. Go through the door. What happened? I'm betting these things are empty since I'm able to take things from them. Can I... Is there something in there? Oh, there's some rope. Rope could come in handy. Uh, would... Burlap sack? Nothing. Bedroll. Book. Double you know autobiography. Fuck it, let's pick it up. More sacks of nothing. Gold, hello. Did I do something wrong? You're the one who helped at the gate. Yep. Glad to have another sword. <sighs> we might need it. Zev? I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, your people need to leave, I can help. Can you delay the ritual? You have to resist. I'm not here to advise you, I'm here to make sure you leave. You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corker's influence. Without her twisting things, 
I believe the druids might see sense. Uh, then why don't you get rid of her? Need to cut your losses and run? A low thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. Uh, I'm not a murderer for her. Leave it to me. What's it worth to you? To get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Okay, so we got two options. Find Halson or kill Korga. Technically, we have both options, but... <laughs> we'll, we'll see if we can find Halson to put her in her place first. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Go, nope. Shh, go back. We're trying to go this way. Alright, so is there a... Oh, this works around. Good. Up, oh, T-Pose and do a search of dominance. Good man. Here. Excuse me, jeez. Okay, so we should know where the the ruins are, I think. Cause we did talk to him and we asked for the contract, so the contract should oh, hello food. The contract should have the location on it somewhere right yep we got like three objectives out here goblin camp priestess gut get Yankee patrol anything else nope okay so plan plan time quick save here then we're gonna go back to the um, to the camp rest up make sure we get all our health our spell slots and everything else and then we're gonna head out to find those ruins <sighs> oh wait i can just go to camp and end the day right yes okay shadow hog wants to speak We'll talk to everybody since we're here. She looks ready to fight. Finally, some good fortune. Come morning, we know what to do. The sooner we find this priestess gut, the better. Can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Uh, so what will... So what will come next for you after this is all over? How are you feeling? You know, you, this could be our last night together. The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Uh, maybe I could leave you tied up while I hunted for a cure. No hesitations, end your misery then and there. There is not, uh, let's not do this. I don't like hypothetical questions. If you turned into a monster, I'd run away. I'm not sure one would work. I like the idea of one, but I'm not positive if that would work at all. Really? I'd just kill you. Mm. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Salutations. Greetings. Uh, what should we do next? Unusual name, the Blade of Frontiers, dealing with goblins, what's your plan? Your eyes unusual, what happened? But we could turn at any moment, how are you in such good spirits? Did you see those tiefling kids? Do you reckon our moping and muttering does them much good? They should be chasing frogs, climbing trees, not... Training for battles they can't win. Those people look at me, and they see a hero. 
Imagine how bad they feel if they were wrong. Are they correct? Living legend in the flesh. Right. Slayer of specters, killer of kobolds. The pride of Baldur's Gate. So you know the stories. All true, I might add. Won't be long before they're telling new tales. Mind flayers, flying ships, dragon attacks. <sighs> the legend grows. Uh, dealing with goblins, what's your plan? There's an old saying I just made up. To fell a dragon, you must chop off its head. These goblins are organized. There's no hamhead pulling the strings. We slither through their camp and off their leaders. Quick as crickets. Okay. Now, now, I always save the best stories for my closest friends and my cruelest enemies. Get to be one of those and I'll spill the whole jug. Hmm? You get that, right? Spill the whole jug? <laughs> huh. I guess I'll toss that one in the heap. I mean, I understand it. Uh, lean in and <laughs> examine the eye more closely. Screw it, why not? spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Nice! <laughs> a, a what now? Goodness, but it's just a bit of rock. Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens. His jaw tenses. This legend is keeping something from you. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. All right, then let's. Uh, I'm all ears. Let, let's uh, just just take a nap. Let's talk to everybody else. All right, Gail, what's up, buddy? How can I help? Oh, did we talk to him to the max degree already? Lazel? Great talent or not, no druid can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Give no credence to such fantasy. What do you suggest we do next? Are you sure Crash is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. To all questions, the Kalir Library harbors answers. A gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Right. That kind of wisdom is valuable. Books are fallible, as are those who write them. Total understanding. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Not books, but slates. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Yeah, that still doesn't stop it from being infallible knowledge. I expect I am your first. Never heard of your kind until my capture. I know of Githyanki, but never met one. I've crossed paths with Githyanki before. And they didn't cut you from navel to neck. Well, perhaps they were otherwise occupied. I am still getting used to people like you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Well, fuck you too. Come on, it isn't that large. Uh, as if your upturned bat snout's any better. <laughs> Jesus. Really, thanks for noticing. Be silent in the face of her goading. Better is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical, is disciplined, it? dignified. 
Right. What do you need now? Uh, okay. All right, to bed we go. Where are you? Um, okay. The environment has not loaded in, and that's there. <laughs> Oh, okay, so it just took us back here. So let's see if we can find our way. Who's this? Kaldani? Let's just talk to everybody here until we can find, uh, you know, so we can get to know the place a little bit more. So we can see if there's any, oh my God, my tail is freaking out. This what? really isn't the time to talk. Okay. Why is that? You're just standing around. All these people are just angry sons of bitches. You're gonna try to chew me out too. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. Thank you, at least. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. That was a pretty big pack. Uh, scared of a few goblins? Pathetic. Uh, why not take your chances on the road? You could hold off the horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. Why would you all stop here and set up camp, then? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Right. I can loot his body. Alright, he didn't have much. Let's climb on down and set on out to find this goblin camp. Is the gate gonna open when I... Okay, it opens. Here. The real question is, so if I, oh no, I'm already kind of going the wrong way. So this is a good direction to go. So, you know about these power spirits. Will we survive? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Right. Something has me believe. <laughs> He's just like, great. Not a fan of that. Something has me believe that it's not going to work out. So there's something down here. This is, what, a small little ravine? Let's just take the path up this way. Oh, it's just a circle. Huh. Okay. Let's just keep over the bridge. Destroyed wagons. Blood up ahead. Alright, let's loot the chests and uh, quick save. Agate. Get some stuff to sell. Gold. Take that, please. Dear Lord Azeroth. Dagger, fork, ladle.
Okay, let's loot some of the barrels up ahead. Food, food restores health. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Dead adventurers. This might be the adventuring party that Halson set out with, or part of it at least. This is scroll cure wounds, quarterstaff, leather armor. This is good. Goblin scimitar and tongs. Gold. Goblin drawings. Draw a childlike charcoal drawing of three stick figures. <laughs> He's just carrying that? Why is that a story item? Is this a body over here? Yeah. Something's waiting up ahead. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Did we all pass the perception check or not? <laughs> it's okay. I guess I just don't get the result. <laughs> Blighted village. Shit. Get over there! Surround him like! You've spotted us! Good! It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked! <sighs> There's no skewing, skewing here. Let me pass. Don't want trouble. Curious, I almost had the exact same thought when I saw you. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Stand down. And we're always gonna pass this. You're a true soul. But my mistake, sir. Something stirs deep within you. Hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. You oh get shit. No more trouble from us. Promise. Now bug it off. Lazel wants to or not Lazel. Shadowheart wants to talk. What's up? Did you feel that? It wasn't us doing the talking. There was a power behind the words. The parasite. We spoke, but it commanded. Uh, swaying others is that, uh, just like that, it's an advantage we can't afford to ignore. Who's being manipulated here? Those, uh, those we speak to, us both. I'll speak for myself without influence of <laughs> this pest. You can't say that for certain. Not while we don't know the true cost. If I were a parasite, I'd want my host to think I was a benefit. Be careful with this advantage. Right. Well, we've already rested, what, two, three days? So something's off already. Okay, so let's get this. Good, we can at least fast travel here now. Unless it doesn't want to work. Dear Lord, man. There we go. No, thank you. I don't need to fast travel. Goblin. Okay, so just goblins. Tracker Slice. Some weird ass <laughs> goblin names. 
Alright, um... Let's quick save here. Now that we've got that little waypoint. Just in case. And let's take the cleric, heavy cleric lead. Because she's got, I think she has heavy armor. I need to reorganize her abilities. I need to reorganize all their abilities. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the Absolute's chosen disciples. Am I not astonishing? A robust <laughs> diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. Right. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Oh, dear lord. Come on. Shit! I expect more than your word. Show me your flesh. Food? Food? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, God. Oh, my God, he took that much health out of me already? Okay, so we're gonna try to keep this localized to here. Let's not alert the whole damn village. I'm glad I, uh, no, I don't want it. Not enough. Wait, why? Yeah, I haven't launched it yet. Oh my God, okay. Wait, so who's next? Oh, we're all in the same turn order, okay. Um, so she can be Guiding Bolt. Got 20% chance to hit him, 70% chance to hit him. And the other one's all the way in the back. No. Let's, uh... Shit, how much that what does she have? A mace? I forget how much damage a mace does. No, let's just let's just smack him. And it missed. Great. Come on. Switch over to me. And that missed too. Great. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Throw a fucking chair at me. Frank! Or, uh, Fank. Threw a chair at me. Did he throw a bomb?
Let's go here. Let's go here. How do you look? Hey! Let's, uh, let's move here a little bit. And that was a miss. That's great. And let's do the thing, Warlock. Almost got one down. Oh, I didn't do her yet. Alright, so one of them's almost down. Oh, I thought it was just gonna sit on top of my head. Oh, damn it. Why do you keep throwing things? And she failed the death save. Alright, who's next? I gotta pick him up now, too. And they can't do anything after they've been helped up. Quit throwing things! shouldn't even be able to hit hit any of my party with the giant dude standing in front of you. Okay. <laughs> Revivify. How many Revivify? We only have one, right? Yeah, that... Okay. Fuck. Let's try to take them out first. One down. I had a 25% chance to hit him. If I hit him, I'm good. Damn it! I should have known. Someone's a level occupies. Answer questions. I can't really do that right now. Ugh! Okay, uh, she succeeded in a death save, so let us just hit him. Okay, no. Can I push him out of the way? Knocked him down, at least. Or not, or not. It just, it didn't make him prone or anything. He just kind of got hit by it. <laughs> I help. And she's. Does she have any health potions? No? Jesus. Alright. Let's see if this does something. Caustic Bulb. Brian deals 1d4 acid damage. So it doesn't do much. Alright, let's use Healing Word on herself. <laughs> Oh, yes! Opportunity of attack. Damn you! Lump the Enlightened. Oh god, he's gonna go out and alert everybody else. You just didn't hit anything. <sighs> Alright, she's good at least. I have Shatter. <laughs> I forgot I had Shatter. Is this gonna hit him? Okay, he passed the saving throw, but I think... Did it do some damage to him? I think so. Jesus. 
I've never heard of ogres or trolls who could use magic. I just haven't. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Can this knock him? Ooh, yes. Good, 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 good. Gives us some space. I should have used myself for the deception check. Ah, oh, God. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> we're screwed. I might as well just let it happen. I don't see a druid, uh, not a druid, a goblin brawler, so we're just gonna focus on these fuckers. Hey! And if I can kill him, I can kill him. If I don't, I don't, and I just let it happen and re. re Alright, that at least got rid of some of the mirror and Oh shit, he's right here! And I'm going down. Oh, jeez. That did quite a bit of damage. Did he just miss a throw? They've been throwing this entire time, and he misses? Okay, yeah, we're gonna load back. That's the one time he missed a throw. My god. That is absurd. <laughs> Okay, so, plan for when we load back. Thumatology again, and then I use my own character to deceive. I might, I wonder if there's a way to check the stats. I've not figured out a way to check the stats yet. We'll see, we'll see. Because if anybody else is better at deception, they're doing it. <laughs> Damn, man. All right. <laughs> Well, I do have to get ready to go to work, so I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. When we return, we're going to see if we can try that whole encounter again without getting absolutely wrecked by three go- uh, not goblins. Fuck it. What were they? Ogres? Trolls? One of the two? Yeah, no, they were ogres, definitely. And, and a bunch of goblins, so I thank you so much, and I will see you all next time.